Our today's story is the Gruffalo's child. This Gruffalo has a child now. The Gruffalo said that no Gruffalo ever set foot in the deep dark wood. So this Gruffalo told his child that no Gruffalo should ever go in the deep dark wood. Why not? Why not? So the child asked, why not? Because if you do, the big bad mouse will be after you. I met him once, said the Gruffalo. I met him a long, long time ago. So Gruffalo told his child not to go to the deep dark wood. What does he look like? Tell us, Dad. Is he terribly big and terribly bad? So the child asked the father, asked Gruffalo, what does the rat, what does the mouse look like? I can't quite remember, the Gruffalo said. Then he thought for a minute and scratched his head and then said, the big bad mouse is terribly strong and his scaly tail is terribly long. His eyes are like pools of terrible fire and his terrible whiskers are tougher than wire. See. He says this is what the mouse looks like. He's terribly strong. Just a second. He's terribly strong and his scaly tail is terribly long. His eyes are like pools of terrible fire and his terrible whiskers are tougher than wire. Then one day it was snowing. One snowy night when the Gruffalo snowed, the Gruffalo's child was feeling bored. So the Gruffalo's child was feeling bored when the Gruffalo was sleeping. The Gruffalo's child was feeling very brave. So Gruffalo's child was feeling very brave. So she tiptoed out of the Gruffalo cave. cave. The snow fell fast and the wind blew wild. Into the wood went the Gruffalo's child. Ab Gruffalo ne to mana kiya tha usko child ko that you, you don't have to go to the woods kabhi nahi jana. But it was snowing and Gruffalo was sleeping and what did the Gruffalo's child do? Tip-toed, tip-toed, slowly went into the woods. Aha, oho, a trail in the snow. Whose trail is this? And where does it go? A tail popped out of a log pile house. Could this be the tail of a big bad mouse? So he saw a tail. Can you see a tail? And the Gruffalo's child was thinking, could this be the tail of big bad mouse? Out slid the creature. His eyes were small and he didn't have whiskers. No, none at all. You're not the mouse. Not I, said the snake. He's down by the lake eating Gruffalo cake. So he met the snake. Gruffalo's child met the snake. Can you see? The Gruffalo's child is talking to the snake. The snow fell fast and the wind blew wild. I am not scared, said the Gruffalo's child. Aha, aho, marks in the snow. Whose are these claw marks? Where do they go? Two eyes gleamed out of the treetop house. Could be could these be the eyes of the big bad mouse? So he saw two eyes. And he wondered if these eyes could be of the big bad mouse. Down flew the creature. His tail was shut. And he didn't have any whiskers. You're not the mouse. No, not I. But he's someone nearby eating a gruffalo pie. So he also tries to scare the baby mouse. 
the snow fell fast and the wind blew wild i am not scared said the gruffalo's child aha a ho a track in the snow whose track is this and where does this go whiskers at last and an underground mouse could this be the home of the big bad mouse to so, ek usko aur creature nazar aaya and he thought ab ye wala to pakka hi big bad mouse hoga so he saw the whiskers here in the cave and he thought is this the big bad mouse out slunk the creature his eyes weren't red his tail wasn't scaly his whiskers weren't wiry you are not the mouse oh no not me he is under the tree drinking gruffalo tea ab usko kon mila fox fox ne bhi usko dara diya kya bola ki big bad mouse is drinking gruffalo tea it's all a trick said the gruffalo's child as she sat sat on a stump where the snow lay piled i don't believe in the big bad mouse but here comes a little one out of his house so what did he see he saw a little mouse coming out of his house so when gruffalo's child was sitting he saw a small mouse coming out of the house you'll taste good as a midnight feast to so gruffalo ke child ne kya socha that you will taste good wait said the mouse before you eat there's a friend of mine that you ought to meet if you let me hop onto a hazel twig i'll beg in my friend so bad and big usne kaha mere ko ek abhi ruk ja abhi mat khana mujhe pehle mere ek friend ko mil the gruffalo's child and clenched her fist the big bad mouse so does he exist she was thinking ki asli mein koi big bad mouse hota hai अब माउस ने उसको क्या बोला जस्ट वेट एंड सी आउट केम द मून इट वॉज ब्राइट एंड राउंड अ टेरेबल शेडो फेल ऑन टू द ग्राउंड हु इज दिस क्रीचर सो बिग बैड एंड स्ट्रॉन्ग हिज टेल एंड हिज विस्कर आर टेरेबली लॉन्ग हिज आईज आर नॉर्मरस एंड ओवर द शोल्डर ही कैरीज अ नट एज बिग एज बोल्डर उसको माउस की शेडो नजर आई और उसने क्या सोचा दैट दिस इज द बिग बैड माउस पर वो शेडो किसकी थी उसी स्मॉल माउस की थी एंड वॉट डिड ही थिंक दैट इट इज अ बिग बैड माउस एंड ही गॉट स्केर द बिग बैड माउस येल्ड द ग्राफलोज चाइल्ड द माउस जम्प डाउन फ्रॉम द ट्विक एंड स्माइल aha a ho prince in the snow who are these prince where do they go the footprints led to the gruffalo cave where the gruffalo's child was a bit less brave a gruffalo's child was already scared the gruffalo's child was a bit less bold so he ran and ran and reached his own cave and now he was not feeling brave and now he was not feeling bored he just wanted to sleep with his dad and the gruffalo snowed and snowed and snowed a gruffalo ko pata hi nahi chala that where was the child and the child had gone to meet the big bad mouse aur child ne jab wo chote se mouse ki itni badi shadow dekhi to usko kya laga that this is the big bad mouse do you like the story give me a thumbs up if you like the story Okay, we have another guest here today who will read a story for you. Her name is Neet. Neet, I'll just look in for you and unmute you. Just a second. Okay, start with your story. hello yeah we can hear you you can start with your story good afternoon children i hope you all are good and enjoying your holidays 
today i am going to narrate you a story the name of the story is the talking cave may i start yes 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 please start <clears throat> the talking cave one day a tiger roamed about in the jungle for a long time but he could not find any prey the tiger was very tired and hungry टाइगर भूखा था क्योंकि उसने कुछ भी नहीं खाया था वो जंगल में घूम रहा था अपना खाना ढूंढने के लिए अपना फूड एज ही वॉक फर्दर ही सॉ केव ही थॉट देर माइट बी एन एनिमल इन द केव आई विल वेट फॉर इट टू कम आउट सो देट आई कैन ईट इट वो केव के बाहर जाता है और देखता है कि यहाँ मुझे कुछ खाने के लिए मिल जाएगा thinking thus the tiger hid himself behind the bushes time passed but the tiger did not see any animal coming out of the cave the tiger then thought perhaps the animals has gone out i will go and sit inside the cave and wait for the animal to come in as soon as it comes in i will pounce on it अटैक ऑन इट टाइगर ने सोचा कि जैसे मैं खाना ढूंढने के लिए बाहर निकला हूं जो केव में एनिमल रहता होगा वो भी अपना खाना ढूंढने के लिए कहीं बाहर गया होगा इसीलिए मुझे कोई दिखाई नहीं दे रहा इसलिए वो सोचता है कि मैं केव के अंदर जाके बैठ जाता हूँ जो भी एनिमल आएगा मैं उसे अटैक करूंगा और खा जाऊंगा वेरी कनिंग वुल्फ लिव इन दिस केव when the wolf came back to his cave he saw the footprints of the tiger the wolf thought there is a big animal inside the cave i should not enter the cave without finding out who is hiding there inside wolf intelligent tha bada usne socha ki usne usko kisi ke footprints dikhai diye bahar लेकिन उसको वो श्योर नहीं था कि वो फुटप्रिंट्स किसके थे इसके लिए वो बाहर ही रुक गया और देखने के लिए कि अंदर कौन है और उसने पहले चेक किया द वॉल्फ सेट अ लिटल अवे फ्रॉम द केव फॉर क्वाइट सम टाइम ही डिड नॉट सी एनी मूवमेंट्स ही देन थॉट ऑफ अ ट्रिक ही वेंट नियर द केव एंड शाउटेड ओके ओके उसके दिमाग में आइडिया आया अब वो यूज कर रहा है उस ट्रिक को द वॉल्स डि नॉट गेट एनी आंसर वंस अगेन ही शाउटेड केव ओ केव आई डोंट यू आंसर मी टूडे यू हैव ऑलवेज आंसर्ड मी बट वॉट इज रॉन्ग विद यू टूडे इफ यू डो नॉट गिव मी एन आंसर I will go back into the jungle. उसने क्या ट्रिक यूज किया कि केव से मैं बातें करता हूँ जब तक केव मेरा आंसर नहीं देती तब तक मैं अंदर नहीं जाता हूँ टाइगर वॉज लिस्निंग टू दुल्फ थॉट आई थिंक द केव आंसर दुल्फ एवरी डे टाइगर को क्या लगा कि केव वुल्फ से बातें करती है today the wolf is calling it but the cave seems to be afraid of me and so it is not answering the wolf's call call tiger ne kya socha cave to hamesha wolf se baatein karti hai lekin aaj main andar baitha hu mere dar ke karan wo answer nahi de pa rahi so instead of the cave I will answer the wolf. If I do not do so, I will lose the lose this prey. The tiger said, "Come in, my dear brother. Why are you so late?" Wait, wait, mute. Wait, you are mute now. Wait. Wolf, को पता चल गया कि उसके बाहर कोई था, उसके केव के अंदर कोई बैठा है. उसको टाइगर की आवाज का पता चल गया 
after some time the wolf heard the tiger's voice and ran for his life wo apni jaan bachane ke liye bhaga after some time the tiger came out of the cave thode samay ke baad tiger bahar aaya he saw the wolf running away wolf bhag gaya tha he chased the wolf but he was so tired and hungry that he could not run very far but the wolf ran fast tiger to hungry tha usne kuch bhi nahi khaya tha wo uske piche bhag sakta tha lekin use pakad nahi sakta tha does a clever wolf trick succeeded and he saved his own life but the tiger remained hungry kya hua वोल्फ ने अपनी इंटेलिजेंस यूज की अपनी लाइफ बचाई पर टाइगर बेचारा भूखे का भूखा रह गया और ऑफ द स्टोरी ब्रेन इज बेटर देन रॉन फिजिकल स्ट्रेंथ नेवर कैन बीट इंटेलिजेंसी हम जितने भी स्ट्रॉन्ग क्यों ना हो जाए लेकिन जब तक हम अपने ब्रेन का यूज नहीं करेंगे तब तक किसी भी चीज को कंट्रोल नहीं कर पाएंगे कोई भी प्रॉब्लम से निकल नहीं पाएंगे In the USA, the child was having interest in studying magic and couldn't study magic because he he was a normal kid. His parents were heroes in the world of magic, who expected great things from him. One day, he was sent home with a team of doctors and police. He get he had gained magical powers when they came home. After seeing this, his parents knew this, and they removed the memory of the people who knew about this. He, then his parents, for the safety, sent him to the magical school. There, he always read books. So the children gave him the name Bookman. Nobody wanted to know his real name. After a few days, a new boy who was like him came in the class. One day they moved met in the library as they were the only one there after talking they came to know about themselves and became friends in the school they were called bookman and wellman the teacher also supported them they also expected great things from him to their love they got the same woman hostel they used to always talk about books once they read about read a book about a secret weapon they read it and found it interesting having secret details of a weapon that could destroy the world they were cautious as they didn't want it to fall didn't want to, to fall in wrong hands he soon realized that a villain named the walker is also searching for the secret weapon the walker knew of the weapon and wanted the weapon to open the door to the dark world and destroy the world bookman and his friend after studying got to know how to find the weapon soon the vacation started and the children went to their homes but they stayed in the hotel they followed the instructions mentioned in the book and soon they realized that it may be too true and they found the map which led to the weapon site there was something tricky They couldn't see the roof. Soon, they knew that when sunlight fell on the map, it shows the path. They followed and followed the map, keeping it in sunlight, and reached the place where the weapon was found. It is. It wasn't so easy reaching there. He tried going inside the room and found a tree which stopped from getting hold of the weapon. Soon, they realized. that the walker is also looking for the weapon and following them the book also mentions of the destruction of the weapon by pressing the stone near the tree by reciting a prayer but one life has to be sacrificed the bookman threw himself on the stone near 
and the tree while reciting a phrase. He told his friends to continue what the book told, learn to live for others, and sacrifice so the others live. Thank you. Very nice, Kuran. You've written the story yourself, Hena. Right? Yes, ma'am. Uh, next, we have Divasveer. Yeah, Divas, unmute could yourself. You, could you please? Yeah. Divas, unmute yourself. Divas. Divas, unmute yourself. I think he's, uh, this thing's got hanged. So we can start with Vivan and once Vivan is done and then we come back to Divas. Vivan, please okay. unmute yourself. Vivan, are you ready with your story? Okay. okay, you are on unmute. Yes. Okay, start with your story. The name of the story is The Lion and the Mouse. Once upon a time, a mouse was a mouse was jumping and running. Uh, when he was running, he stepped on a lion's paw and the lion awoke and he said to the mouse, How dare you uh, uh, wake me up, S said the lion to the mouse. The, uh, and uh, he said, I will eat you and uh, I, uh, I, the lion got angry and he, kid, and he, uh, and uh, the, the, the mouse said to the lion that please, Set me free, and the 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 uh, the uh, the lion said, uh, the the I'm going 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 to eat you up." And the 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 mouse said, "One day I will return your kindness." The 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 the, the lion said to the. The mouse said to the lion that please free me and the lion said that one time I will free you. After some days, a hunter came in the jungle and uh, uh, he set a trap for the lion and the lion caught in the trap and the, and the lion started roaring and growling the the mouse followed followed the roars and the mouse noted that uh, the lion is trapped in a cave of a hunter and the mouse uh, cut it the uh, cave with ropes with uh, his sharp teeth and the, the, the mouse and the lion were free and they became friends. The moral of the story is of any shape and size, you, we must respect all and we should not break our promise like the mouse. Thank you, Vivan. It was a very good story. So now can we unmute Divas? Divas, please start your video. Hello, my name is Divas. And start, the name start your video. And my story's name is The Creative Fisherman. One day, a fisherman caught a small fish. She said, leave me and asked him him to make a wish. The fisherman wanted a huge house. She said, go and touch a tiny little mouse. He caught a mouse by its tail so long and there stood a house very big and strong. He grew greedy and wanted some more. He wanted some gold. He wanted a golden tree 
loudly he told me. The fish said, go and touch a bee. He did so and got the golden tree. He grew greedy and wanted more. Give more, he shouted at the shore. The fish cursed him in anger. For me, now you are a stranger. She cast her spell and everything vanished. The fisherman and his greed were punished. He became a fisherman as he used to be. He still sits whole day next to the sea. The fish would come one day. He sits in hope I'll never be greedy. Nope, nope, nope. The moral of the story is a greedy person loses what he has. Thank you. Thank you, Divas. It was a good story. So next we have uh, Jeet Sohal. Yeah. Okay. Good evening, everyone. My name is Jeet. Today I'm going to um, speak a story called my best friend, the golden swan. Once I went to the, to the pond and saw a golden swan. I made her my best friend. I asked my parents and brought her home. At first, she was afraid that I would pluck her feathers since she had just migrated from another pond in another city where a poor old woman plucked all her feathers for money. But... Since I comforted her and gave her everything she needed, she wasn't afraid anymore. There were two prob but there were two problems. The first one was that the golden swan didn't have a name. So we all decided to name her Diana. And the second problem was that Diana didn't have a place to swim. So I asked my parents to go to the to Decathlon, a sports store, to get a small pool for Diana to swim in. One day, Diana told me that she wanted to meet my friends. So one day, I called my friends over, but when they arrived, Diana quickly hid. I asked her, what happened? Now, she said, I am scared. I asked her, what are you scared of? Then she told me the whole story. I am not going to tell you that. To know the story, you need to read the uh, story. The story's name is The Golden Swan. Anyways, where was I? Right. So, I told my friends that don't get greedy for her pure gold feathers. My friends agreed. So, Diana came out to to meet them and she was thrilled and they all became friends that's all for now i'll tell you the rest next time thank you jeet uh, next is devasya gurleen can you uh, unmute devasya he um, has logged in with the name wait i'll just check if i can do it yeah uh, I've unmuted him. Okay. Divasya, start with your story. My story is named Wizard says at Pulyata. Pinku Ball greatly excited. Two also aunts moving much. I think we've lost the connection with him. Devasya, we is can't hear Are we, I've Aras. unmuted him. No, no. Okay. He's logged in with his name only. Uh, Devasya, we've unmuted you. Can you start again? Uh, there is some issue. I we cannot hear. His, he's not audible. We can't hear him. Uh, 
we can start with the uh, with the next child and devasya can log in again gurleen can you unmute nakul bhandari yeah one nakul okay. i can't see nakul nakul yeah, bhandari okay. My name is Nakul Bandari. My story name is The Ant and the Grasshopper. Once there lived two friends in a field, an ant and a grasshopper. On a hot summer day, the grasshopper was in a joyous mood. It was hopping around and singing happy songs. After some time, it saw its friend, the ant, coming. It's carrying some grains it gets and was healthy had heading to its home the grasshopper asked the ant friend where are you carrying these grains they seem to be heavy the ant replied friend i am carrying these grains to my home i have to carry Oh, many more grains today. Come and play with me," said the grasshopper. "I can't, as I have to store food for the winter. I suggest you to do the same," said the ant. Hearing this, the grasshopper laughed. It said, "Why?" Why bother about winter, my friend? There is plenty of food at present. The ant did not reply to its friend. It continued with its work. When winter arrived, the grasshopper had no food to eat. It was very hungry. When it felt that it would die. of hunger its friend and and, and some other ants came to its re rescue they shared their food with it the grasshopper realized its mistake it realized that one should never waste his her precious time he should understand the importance of time work hard and prepare for the need needy days moral of the story work hard to get what you like or otherwise you will be for forced to like what you get to go from good to great all of us need to work hard thank you thank you next we have balbir kaur Gulin, can you unmute Balbir Kaur? Yeah, once. Yep. I send the request. You've sent the request. Otherwise, in the meantime, we can start with Hitakshi. Uh, we can do that because yeah. I've sent it twice or thrice. Okay. Um, so we start with Hitakshi in the meantime. Okay. Hitakshi, I can't see. I. Okay. Done. Okay, Hitakshi, start with your story, bache. Okay, ma'am. The name of my story is The Boy and the Hazelnuts. One day was a boy who loved hazelnuts. His mother kept a jar on the top shelf in the kitchen cupboard. When the boy's when the boy was very well behaved, his mother would allow him to put his hand into the jar and take some and take out some hazelnuts and eat. On one day his mother called him into the kitchen and said oh my dear son 
you was very helpful to get today in bringing in the firewood i will let you take out some hazelnuts to roast on the fire the boy of course was very excited and watched impatiently as his mother brought down the special jar of the nuts from the top shelf now the jar had a narrow neck so when the boy put his hand in the in the jar he would only be able to remove it if he were holding one or two three nuts however the boy had other plans he put his hand in and grabbed a whole fistful of nuts and when the boy tried to remove his hand he found it was shug his mother realized what was happening and urged her son to let go of some of the nuts and to take out more other time but but the boy didn't didn't realize that he was greedy after some time his mother said oh my dear why you are not why you are not why not listening my words when then his then his son said oh mother i want handful of hazelnuts the mother said don't be greedy or don't be greedy my son and then his son said okay mom i will not let the moral of the story is do not attempt more than you can handle thank you thank you hitachi next uh, gurleen can you please uh, unmute devasya again and uh, ma good, good evening ma'am i am good evening. telling the story visitors at dulyatal visitors at dulyatal pinku boys greatly excited two of her aunts moni mashi and nudu pishi were coming to dulyatal for a visit both were teachers moni mashi taught in a school in calcutta and nudu pishi somewhere in the suburbs what will they think of dulyatal ash think they love it won't they i hope so said tinku's mother i only hope it doesn't rain when they arrive why not ash tinku surprised it's lovely when it rains all the little streams become rivers there we can sail boats pinko's mother laughed you used to hate the rains too pinko said oh that was very long ago said pinko i am used to dulaitel now and it's a lovely place as it happened there was a heavy downpour on the morning of the arrival it's time to go to the bus stand said tinku's father peering at the wall clock where are the rain coats and the umbrellas let's a uh, couple couple of extra shawls as well the umbrellas let's take um it's time of shivery could i come to the bus stand did you can go ask your father yes but wear your raincoat and don't forget your gum boots he said rain rain connected to pour down when the half field bus no uh, when the half filled bus from kan kan gotam 
arrived at the bus stand. Kenko jumped up and down eagerly. She was very fond of both her aunts. Monimashi told her the most enchanting stories when she visited her in Calcutta. And Nutu Pishi was great fun he did and quite a good photographer. But it did not seem to be from the angels. Nutu Muni called out Tenku's father in a loud voice. Are you there? Hurry up and get down. The bus will leave in a minute. Two huddled figures almost burned burrowed in under cardigans, overcoats and shawls crawled out of the bus. What monsters were there? said Muni Mashi in a feeble voice. It's freezing, said Nutu Pishi. Really, Dada, I don't know why you asked us here at the, this time of the year. It always rains in the hills. You will soon get used to it. Everyone does, said Tinku. Father, talking the, taking the bags from their hands. Tinku cried, Mooney Mashi, catching sight of her. Why did you came out in this rain? Uh, and where's the taxi? asked Nuku Pishi, looking down. Tinku burst out laughing. We, we can't go to a house by taxi. Nuku Pishi asked to know. A rickshaw then asked Muni Mashi. If afraid, uh, I'm afraid you'll have to walk, said Tinku's father, laughing at the look of their faces. It's not fair. Far, far, fair. Get in, into these raincoats and take these umbrellas. Walk uh, all the way to your house, cried Nutu Pishi. And I don't see any road, said Moni Mashi. There is, said Tinku, pointing to the narrow track leading down to the house. Moni Mashi said, I can't go down that path. It's so narrow and there's such a step drop on the other side. There is not even a railing. One can hold on to said Mutupishi. Uh, don't be frightened, said Mutupishi's father. Mutupishi. Tinku's father. Here hold my hand and you hold mine, Munimashi, said Tinku. Don't worry. You won't fall down. It seemed like a never-ending journey to Tempu. Both her aunts were so scared of the narrow path that they took ages to further the distance. Thank the God. They reached the house, said Minashi with a shudder as they Near the gate, I am not going to step out until it's time to leave. I don't think I want to be there. There's nothing to see except dripping trees and dark bushes. I don't think we we'll get to see the snow range at all. Oh, yes. You will, when it is bright and sunny, said Tinku in a comforting voice. Here were 
Thank you. Next we have Dharav. Gulin, unmute Dharav. Yeah, done. Dharav, start with your story, beta. Okay, ma'am. Hi everyone. My name is Dharav, and I am going to tell a story. My story name is the Mother's Love. Juno, the queen of the gods, decided I shall reward. the animal with the most beautiful baby soon all the animal mothers gathered in front of juno with their babies the tigress the lioness and the mother bear came with their cubs the kangaroo carried her baby in her pouch juno checked all the animal babies one by one she stopped when she came to the she monkey and her baby juno said the monkey baby has to be the ugliest baby look at its flat nose and ugly face this baby will never get the prize the monkey baby started crying as the mother held her baby close and whispered don't worry my beautiful one i don't want any prize as you are the best prize that i cherish the most to me you are more beautiful than any other baby the monkey mother looked at juno angrily and the queen of the gods realized her mistake so the moral of this story is the mother has no equal thank you everyone thank you thank you dhairu uh next we have is a uh, netik netik are you there uh, i i don't think he's here okay uh is riddhi varma here i don't think riddhi varma is also here mm, not here Aditya Shukla. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Aditya, start with your story, beta. Okay, ma'am. My name is Aditya. My story name is the monkey and the dolphin. Once there was a sailor. He decided to go new place with his friend. The sailor was very close to his pet, so. He took his pet monkey along with him. The sailor was enjoying his journey when they were for out us uh, out at sea. A terrible storm occurred and overturned the ship. Everyone fell into the sea, and the monkey was also trying to save itself. Then a dolphin picked him up, and the soon reached the island. The monkey 
left felt very happy to the monkey do you know this place the monkey said i am the prince of this land just then dolphin started swimming through the sea the monkey soon released his mistake but it was too late moral of the story is those who lie and boast may end up in the trouble thank you thank you thank you for being with us today and i hope to see you next saturday thank you okay beta now that we are off we are off facebook right and stop the recording as well gulin could you please stop the recording